Hey, it's Tisha35 coming back to you today. It's March 10th, 2007, and today I'm going to talk about the top five ways to know if you are a MySpace loser. Okay, number five is if you use MySpace as your only means of communication with certain people, they're probably not your friends. So if they don't send you a message saying, have a great weekend, or yay, it's Friday, or some crap like that, don't get mad. They probably just have a life. Number four reason to know, or the number four way to know if you're a MySpace loser is if you have a bunch of old ass pics on your profile. Okay? Why are you going to put pictures of you from high school if you're 30 years old as if this is how you look now? Especially for people who are using it for dating and relationships why don't you be honest with yourself and everyone else and put your real picture up there something that you took at least a year or two ago I mean damn what the hell number three way to know if you are MySpace loser is if you use MySpace to fight okay if you got something to say to somebody just tell them personally I mean, is it really necessary to be posting bulletins about how somebody's a bitch and a whore and all this kind of stuff or you know, putting stuff in your about me section about something that somebody did to you. I mean, if MySpace is your only way of communicating that type of thing, then you probably don't have any friends anyway, which is probably why you're using MySpace to fight. Don't get mad at everybody else. Number two, have you been leaving questions on celebrities' pages and thinking they're going to respond to you? Well, if you have, you're probably a MySpace loser. I mean, why do you care what kind of shoes T.O. is wearing in the game on Sunday? Or how somebody felt when they were on Jay Leno the night before? First of all, the page probably doesn't even belong to the real, to the real celebrity. And secondly, do you really think they're going to answer you? I don't. So you probably should stop asking questions to celebrities on their pages because you just look stupid to everybody else that visits their page. And the number one way to know if you are a my space loser is if you visit my space every day. Why? Why do you visit my space every day? Is that what your life is revolving around I mean if MySpace is something that you have to do every day like crack then you probably need some counseling and some hobbies and a job so my friends out there my fans my viewers my haters whatever the hell you want to call yourself those are the five ways to know if you are a MySpace loser go down the list ask yourself are you matching at least two of the criteria? If you are, I'm so sorry, but you're a MySpace loser. Ta-ta!